Sitting around the ballroom, they're talking about tomorrow when they're taking Johnny away. Said he wasn't no good, they were done the things that he should. That's all the judge had to say. He went in the army when he was 18. Crazy young Irish and me. All right. We are fucking back. 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 <laughs> Um, it's frauds. Look like, at you. First off, a back just, on the watch, kid. I just looked over and I go, "This motherfucker got a watch." Dude, on. I haven't been wearing my watch. How'd for like you know what I was year. looking at? I, because, dude, I, I'm <laughs> fucking. This is a smart looking watch, dude. This is a yeah. bomb watch. This is a Chinola, made in America. Pots, I'm sure, made in fucking China, but whatever. It happens. What are you gonna uh, do? It's made out of Detroit. It's a fucking money watch. Detroit, what? Um, yeah, it was uh, part of our things mentioned. What was it? Things mentioned ought to do. Like yeah. Every guy should wear a watch or something. Every guy should have a watch. Every guy should have a watch. So I'm rocking my watch again. How do you like that? Love it. Does um, it work? Is it right time? Yeah, it's money. Right. Uh, it's five and nine right now, buddy. Seven to nine Beautiful. p.m. on Sunday night. What's up? All right, let's do a couple sponsors real quick. Um, what do you think? You want to go first? So, first oh, Sunday? I got an announcement to make. We put it up on the page. September 1st, we're going to put the tickets on sale for Correct. the Halloween bash. If you are not there, you are a, a loser. You, are, you have got, you've been struck in. You, uh, you've, been, who no, you've been, uh, you've been removed from the list of people with permanent lifetime memberships to the uh, Pulling the Court podcast. Correct. You are not considered an A number one fan any longer. Um, 80s and 90s style uh, outfits. We uh, have an announcement to make. We're gonna have this thing is gonna be catered by fucking Lily Peace. Oh, do we? Talk to Chris. We are in. He is in for catering. Lily Peace. We'll Pe- Wh- which, by the way, what were they? They were the champion. Champions of, of Boston. Of Boston for the fried chicken. I've talked about it already. Like the fucking no, we've oysters. all. We, I mean, yeah. they, their food is just it's out nice. of this world. Um. So, anyways, they're gonna. This be is news catering. to me, by the way. Yeah, you, it, I'm Fuck dropping yeah. this on you right now. Fuck yeah. Uh, we're breaking stories. We are going to be getting their food. It's going to be unbelievable. Yeah. Um, we're getting a DJ. Anyways, oh, yeah. Yeah. so Fifth well, and Benny well, Street, Lily you, Peas. You just took my fucking thunder. Yeah, okay. we have a DJ now. Yeah, we <laughs> CJ the DJ, what up? Nice, what a name. I love DJs, by the way. DJs are fucking awesome. Yep. Um, there's not enough DJs in the world, you know what I mean? Like, too, like... He can actually scratch and shit, that, too. So that's what I... That, I wouldn't expect nothing less from you, dude, <laughs> yeah, that you're yeah. bringing a real... This isn't some fucking Vermont hack yeah, coming no, down here. Nah, he's, like, he's the real deal. Spinning on what a night. You he's know what the, I mean? Like he's some the real deal. Piece of shit. <laughs> um, I had a buddy in college who was a... Uh, not a buddy. He was a guy I happened to live with a few times. Uh, I won't use his name, but he was a fucking DJ. And his name was... I could say his name. I don't care. If he listens to the show, it's fine. Nice guy. Corey Heaven. His, his nickname was DJ Heavy Hev. And uh, he was he's the squarest white dude you've ever seen DJ oh, in the world. One, one of my good friends I was just drinking with a couple hours ago, was, his name is Jason Monroe, very good friend of mine. His uh, his son's an offensive lineman for my football team. Jason Monroe, his DJ name was Yo-Yo Monroe. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. <laughs> I love that. If you ever were at a... Oh, my God. What, what the fuck was the name of the bar? I'm, it's going to fucking... Charles and Maine? Charles and Maine is where he was at. Okay. Where's that? In Walden? It was, no, it was in Walden, right behind. You know where Walgreens is? Malden Square? Yeah. That's where he was. Not where, like, V's was, right? V's! V's! <laughs> V's! It was V's? V's, yes. Dude. Charles and Maine, and then it was V's. <laughs> he was a dude. DJ there. V's was fucking... Yeah. Shit went down at V's. I, I danced in there with a bunch of rods from my high school, so I guarantee so he was a DJ. So if you got punched in the face there, he was the one doing, <laughs> don't stop, break it. You know what I mean? Like, he, he was a DJ. Luckily, I kept my teeth on that evening. Um... So 50 Benny Street, Lily Peas, go see Chris. Uh, they are the best of the business. They make the best food. LilyPeasChicken.com. Check them out. American Safety Sprinkler, my guy, Mike Brandano. He's looking for you. He's waiting for the goddamn phone call. Um, everything that you want to see is on that website. He literally told me to say the bare minimum, but I have to shut him out anyways because he's my friend. So AmericanSafetySprinkler.com. All you restaurateurs out there listening, including our own sponsors at Lily Peas, Mm -hmm. you should be listening right now and reaching out to our boy at AmericanSafetySprinkler.com, Mike Brandano. How are you, pal? Um, Insulation situation. Our boy, Sean. I don't even have to read this thing. I, I, I know on YouTube you look you're looking right now. I want to hold it right here. If I need it, I'm going to grab it. Hold I, on, no, hold no, on. I'm gonna, I'll, right. I'll, I'll, I'll test right. you. Um, How about my bedroom reminder just went off? 
Supposed <laughs> to go to bed? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> What a project kid, you know what I mean? You <laughs> fucking got reminders to get a good no, night's sleep. No, it's just an iPhone saying, you know, this yeah, is yeah, when yeah. you normally go to it's bed. This is when you normally go to bed. Um, I'm not going to remember the the, uh, the email address, but insulation situation. You're already paying into Mass Save with a National Grid Energy uh, or Eversource. You're already paying into it. So basically, you're going to get a great credit back. Single families are getting 75%. Right? And then three <laughs> families are getting 100%. You are. Um, you're killing it so far. He is going to be in my house soon because I found out, like I said, I, and I've just been lazy, but I have to uh, get He's all... He's supposed th- to be here this week. I know. I know. It was a busy week. You fucked up. I had a lot of shit on my plate. Um, I really didn't. I hate when people say that. Uh, but I'm going <laughs> to get it done. Anyways, um, he is coming by, and Irish battleships, like we said, 100%. And if the people don't want to get it done, fuck them. You own the place. They're just renting. Uh, <laughs> email is insulation situation at gmail.com. Phone number is 617 835 Yeah. Um, and then go ahead. You got one more, right? And then I'll do, I'll do extra effort. AJM plumbing and heating, my guy, Anthony. Listen, I just left an Italian feast. All right. We got, we got to work on some things with you Italian people. <laughs> but. AJM plumbing and heating. Shit. Here's what we don't have to work on. This guy knows fucking plumbing and heating, and he knows your boiler system. Servicing the North and South Shore, over 100 five star reviews. Want to know why? I'll tell you why. He's a Malden guy. All your plumbing, heating, and gas needs, certified in all major plumbing and heating brands. Great prices in two year warranty on all work. It's unheard of, people. Unheard of. This guy knows what he's talking about. And wait till you see his beak of a nose. <laughs> mention this ad, and you receive 10% off when you mention mine or Brendan's name. Phone number, 781-853-1310. Email A-M-I-C-C-I-C-H-I at AJMPlumbingHeating.com. My guy, Anthony. Awesome. Extra effort hockey. Do you got a kid in your house who likes, wants to be a star hockey player? Maybe they just want to learn the game. Maybe they think they're a star, but they got to fine tune their skills. Be put in a line a little bit. Our boys at Extra Half at Hockey are going to do that for you. Uh, like I said, I know frequent flyers there, guys who send their kids there. My buddy Greg Huntley sends his son Reed there. He's a goalie. He's nasty from untold. What a great first name, by the Unbelievable way. Unbelievable name. <clears throat> Reed. That um, screams dominance. Does scream dominance. Um,. They are the best thousand square foot of, of synthetic ice. They got a huge facility that you can work out in. They'll do everything with you. They'll get you going in the right direction. They're blowing up, by the way. Absolutely blowing up. It's unbelievable. Our boy Craig is I didn't the guy see to him see. this weekend, which is nuts. Extra right? Sure. Right. Extra um, I, I, I was there all three nights this weekend yeah, at St. Rocco's. I didn't see him once. We got to get with him. So if you're waiting on a shirt, the only reason the shirts haven't gone out, they're going to go on Friday, is that I got to get with Craig because. The Due extra. to the fucking supply chain in this country. Yeah. Uh, the extra lodges. Thanks a lot, Obama. Yeah. The extra lodges, the extra lodges were on, uh, on back order. So we got those now. So I know I owe they're, some. They're there. They're with our people. Exactly. They're with our people. And, uh, All right. Let me tell you a real quick story. Tell me. Because you said you had to issue an apology a couple weeks ago because you. Uh, about the I guy shed coached football. My, I shed all of my head coach. Yeah, exactly. It's okay. My guy. All right. You learn a little bit when you're doing podcasts that, like, one of the things that's going to happen is that you're going to say some stuff about people that you don't no, think you're going to see. But, but, but here's the other No, 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 not you. I'm talking about No, me. no, no. But when I, the first, listen, did I shit on him? 100%. <laughs> but immediately afterwards, I said, I love the kid. Oh, of course you did. I fucking love him. Yeah. But he, yeah. Was like, he was like, I'll never listen to it again until I get an apology. <laughs> so there's. I, he's got I, his so apology. Like, I'm about to issue an apology. Oh, boy. Um. So I told the story on here a few weeks ago about how there's a girl that I grew up with and she married a kid who was in the Mickey Mouse Club. And yes. like, like he's like, no, he's like boys with JT and stuff, but he's yep. not famous. And I'm like, that's the worst life ever, to be a failed boy band guy. Yep. I get to breakfast, my daughter's birthday breakfast. I've told you this story a little bit. I sit down, and this is at a place, uh, Blue Moon. So it's like you're sitting on top of it, whoever's next to you. Yep. They're fucking sitting right next to me. <laughs> next table, I haven't seen this girl since... I was probably pegging my pants in fucking I, whatever I was in. <laughs> I went to grade school with her. So she's like, hey, Brennan, how you doing? And I'm like, hey, how you doing? I was so fucking nervous. I don't know if she listens to the podcast. Probably doesn't, right? 
Because Ma- Maggie must have been thinking I used to bang this girl or something because right. I was like shaking like a fucking leaf, right? I'm like, fuck, what if I get called out right here in front of my kids and be an asshole? That would be amazing. Right? So, I mean, I would laugh. I still think it's a, it's not, this, this, lot, this kid's like an amazingly talented guy. I know that, right? So that's a fact. I mean, he's fucking in the Mickey Mouse Club. He's like a professional producer. That's what he does, yeah. right? I'm a fucking hack compared to this guy, right? right? That said, I wouldn't have been on the Mickey Mouse Club. It wouldn't have been a problem for me. That said, if this is listened to by, uh, by my girl Lisa, that, that is your public apology. Uh, your husband's way more talented than I am. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, anyways, that's that. Um, so it turns out in real life, you are going to see some of these people at some point. Happy. That said, I'm going after necks tonight, kid. I'm coming for people's fucking necks. Tonight is frauds. Frauds, frauds is three. my favorite. Part fucking Listen, three. We, we, we always come back to home base, right? I love going off base a little bit. Test the waters, but frauds, good guys. That's how. That's us. That's that's our fucking. That's, us. that's shitting on anything and people, is like our main deal. It, and I, I got to be honest with you, right? You told me today in a, via text we're doing fucking frauds tonight, and I go fuck, because normally like I, I have like a list going. Yeah, and you and you were also out in the boat, so it wasn't like you had to just yeah, use so, the dome. All right, so give you a quick roust about here. Oh yeah, a uh, little weekend recap. Malden has a. Very, I think this year was the 92nd St. Rocco's Feast. Wow. Big Italian feast. I am not Italian. You're not Italian. Nope. But I will do anything that involves Italian food. Yes. Um, and I know... A million ma- people. That, yeah. I, it, it's funny. It's funny you said that because Friday night I was down there and one of the kids I coach, he goes, uh, Coach Danny, do, do you... Uh, no, what, he didn't say Coach Danny. He's it's fucking Julie Turner's kid. Okay, yeah. He said Danny. Yeah. I coach him, but he goes, Danny, do you get all the food free? And I said, Why? Why would I get the fucking food free? He goes, Because yeah. you're the fucking mayor. Yeah. <laughs> That's his exact words. <laughs> and I said, No, no, no. I go, I, I pay for my food. Thank yeah, you. yeah. You know? But uh, no, the food's great. Company was great. Uh, today was the grease pole, which I have. Uh, not to. You're be an too, alumni of the grease pole. I I am a vested three year. Third tier uh, grease pole alumni. Not to be confused with the grease pole in, in Gloucester, which I think is fucking. You guys are crazy for that I, one. Dude, you would have. I don't know what kind of drugs it have to be on to do that. You guys are crazy. And I guess up there, like, you have to be either a Gloucester resident or Italian. We have to wait for Craig Kimberly to come in here to, to allow Yeah, he'll give us that. the full rundown of that. Which would have been great for him to be here tonight. It's a guy's busy guy, BBQ. Jesus it. Christ. He was fucking slinging briskets all day yesterday in Gloucester. I, 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 I could get fucking Justin Tibblick here quicker than I can get him here. <laughs> but I, I digress. Um, Oz is straight up, right? Yep. We rent someone's yard, basically. Not we. The, the Edgeworth people. Yep. And they douse it in... Motor oil grease. Yeah, it smells so bad, like so bad. <laughs> and I, uh, I've done it. I, you're you're in pain for a fucking. Ugh. You're you're on top of each other and ju- you you don't run across it. Yeah, that's a no. It's a, it's a vertical. Yeah, yeah, and you're on top of people. Ah, I saw to, the picture of it. And you ha- and you have to grab a bag of meat. Yeah. just to give you, just to give you a, a visual, right? And um. So I, I, I bowed out this year. I wore all white. I'm wearing the same outfit I'm, I'm wearing right now, if you guys are watching on YouTube. I'm wearing a Griffey jersey. Dripped in K- Ken Griffey jersey. Dripped. Dripped. The, the hat. You see the hat, dude? It's the money, dude. The kid. It's money. Come on, look at, the, look at that. Money. It's an electric factory it's outfit. It's unbelievable. So I wore this specifically so no one could say, you can definitely climb right now. Yeah. Right? So we watched it happen and happen, and they were just not getting it. Yep. So now I'm, like, feeling bad. Not me, but, like, the crowd. But like, yep. So my buddy goes down the street. He goes, grab whatever the fuck you can and come back here and get on this. So we went. Kid on wit, who I love and listens to this show. Nice. He's upstairs. That's my cousin Patrick calling me, who listens every goddamn day. Yeah. He knows <laughs> what I'm doing right now. Uh, but the kid that I was with, he's upstairs rifling through my buddies for 20 minutes. Yeah. And I go, buddy, it's not a fucking Macy's catalog. Yeah. Just grab some. He said, grab anything that's not name brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we we grabbed his sweatpants, grabbed some pants, blah, blah, blah. Grab a shirt, cut some shit, put over our heads. We walk down, and there it is. The kid is fucking grabbing the bag. Nice. 
So we didn't even have to do it. The kid that told us to grab all his shit, he goes, that's the shirt you cut? That's my favorite shirt. <laughs> and I go, he goes, how do you know? And he's a big Budweiser drinker. Yeah. Big Budweiser logo on my buddy's head. It was a sleeve. <laughs> and it said Budweiser right there. It's right over his fucking sleeve, right? So he goes, of course it is. So I know people at Budweiser. I'm going to get him a hoodie and all fucking shirt and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. We'll make, we're going to make that right. But uh, it, was a great, it was a great weekend. So do they serve like booze on the streets and everything like that? Um, there's a bear garden. Okay, there's that's what bear, I figured. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, there's a bear garden. That's why I was like, I was trying to get you to come down, but whatever. I get it. You, got, it's, you, you know what it is? Me. I got uh, my, it was my girl's birthday week, and then my daughter and my wife are going to um, Hilton Head for the whole week. So I was kind of, and was my niece's birthday was yesterday, and then we did yep. something today. So unfortunately, it didn't work out for me. But here's his, my only, only fucking gripe about this weekend, which yep. I love. It's not the neighborhood I grew up in, right? Yep. But they open everybody with open arms. You yep. know what I mean? So I, people from my neighborhood go down there. Everyone has a good time. Sure. So I, I love a good Arancini. Yeah, club. oh, uh, I mean, I fucking... Mean, you I'm are really, singing from the same hymn book as fuck, me. They're, they're unbelievable, yeah. right? The Irish have nothing like this, by the way. And she goes, do you want sauce on it? And I go, yeah. So I took a bite out of it, right? The sauce was, I mean, ice cold. Oh. I am not one to Yelp review, but I am one to put it on a podcast. Sure. It was fucking ice cold. That sucks. I was so mad. That sucks. And the Arancini was 10 bucks. Yeah. What are we doing? Yeah, that blows. That blows. Sucks, um, man. Suck. That blows. Sucks because, like, I know the people down there. I know they're good people. I know they put their heart and soul in it. It's real. It's real cooking. Yeah. No, the I, sauce I dude. was ice cold. Just give it a little stir once in a while. Yeah, you know? I mean, you know, put <laughs> it on a hot plate. Sauce. Put it on a hot plate. Don't let the sauce stick. You yeah. see it in Goodfellas. I know. Ah <laughs> oh, man, ice cold um, sauce. Terrible. I'm playing in a golf tournament tomorrow, by the way, with my old man. You are one o'clock. Yeah, oh, yeah. in Quincy. Oh, one. at Granite Lakes. Yeah. Beautiful. I've done course. it before. It's a great time. It's a good time. Uh, you start at one. Start at one. Which kind right, of? So you're going to the late. South Shore. So you got to leave at what? Eight a.m. That's what I had to reschedule an appointment. <laughs> I had at like ten because I'm like I, won't, I have to leave like. Yeah. It sucks. And then you know what's funny is like depending on what time it leaves like there's a dinner afterwards but I have my kids by myself because my wife's taking my oldest so I kind of get a bolt before like the after thing and all that so yep. kind of sucks but whatever anyways it'll be fun my old man's a great golfer his friends are awesome um, all right let's do frauds you ready Still? all right I'm gonna start. And this goes out to my boy, boy, Fred Good, who lives in Melrose. He did not present this as a fraud. He just brought it up today, and then it happened to me right after it happened to him. So he gets a shirt, even though I don't think he listens to the podcast. Okay? okay. When you go to... Okay, I talked about Pache's on the show a few times. Yeah. Jay Pache's is an like Italian provision store in Saugus. It is started at the North End. It is authentic... It's fucking real deal. Oh, it's legit. If food is fucking lights out, the deli counter is legit. Like you the, never have to worry about the best cutlets ever. Yeah, they they cut cut they cut their fucking deli meats like you're supposed to cut them. Now, Fred said this happened to him this morning. It happened to me tonight today at two. When I go, if you're a fucking old retired person, and you got a seven deli meat order, a third a pound of fucking mozzarella, uh, give me eight slices of capicola. I need two slices of provolone chop. One with, one, one mortadella with pistachios, two half pound without. Oh, dude, you are retired. Go on Tuesday. Yeah. We're waiting there with this guy. He's got fucking seven stacks of white paper. Like, because they wrap in butcher paper there. Yeah, yeah. Like, because it's the real deal. It's, it's legit. It's, it's legit. I want to fucking, I want to end this guy, this old Italian guy's life. I'm like, dude, come on. Like, th- you are off all week. He's, I know that. <laughs> you are not working. I can tell. Yeah. You gotta come here on Sunday to get your get your fucking shit, and you gotta make a sandwich that has nineteen slices of everything for the week. Like, it is fucking unconscionable that these people do this. I, and it happens. It happens often. Often. Yeah. Fucking often, yeah. dude. It, often. It, it, it's uh, just meet meet me somewhere in the middle. How's that? Hundred percent. And you know what? The thing that you lose. The thing. Here's the thing with the deli counter. We talked about this a little bit. I, I, I talked I, about this. I, a I really, bit. W- I really wish the deli counter would be like deli. Ca- yeah, yeah. The deli counter would be like, nah. <laughs> no, I agree. You get like a six limit on Sunday, a four <laughs> yeah. limit on Sundays. So Just come back when we're like, you know, no one's there. The thing that drives me nuts about the deli counter. I've talked about this before. You know, they they fucking they fuck you on the way they cut shit at certain places. Whatever. Patches is not like that. Right. 
they should, uh, some of these places, like, just, you know what make the, their life easier, probably, and yours? It's a little order ahead action, but with a good place that knows how to cut it already, right? Like, I'm not getting an order ahead at fucking Stop It Shop, because I love when you go to, by the way, that, I think I said this, but, like, when you go to Stop It Shop, you're like, can I get American cheese? And they're like, oh, we have right it over there. there. Yeah. That's cut fucking, like, yeah. my fucked. shoe. Yeah. It's fucking horrible. Yeah. I, I don't want beef jerky fucking Land Lakes. This is, like, for $16 talking about a pound. I'm some all fucking set. first world problems, but... Anyways, to the guy who is sitting there ordering fucking speck and every other it's weird meat they speck. have in the place. That was one of his things, speck, which is like a prosciutto type of meat, not even a prosciutto. Um, I hope you enjoy your fucking week of endless cold cuts because you took fucking four hours out of my life. So you're up. All right. So I just told you I left the uh, St. Rocco's Feast of Malden. Uh Last night I was there. and I, Like I said, I was there all weekend, but... Last night I was there. The minute I walked in, I'm I'm talking 7 p.m. I see my buddy who I just went to his house today to change into his clothes. He lives in the neighborhood. His son bought a toy there. So the fraud is carnival toys. <laughs> so they, they had something where, you know. Did the guy have the shopping carriage with, like, the whole thing on it? No, 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 no. Like, oh, okay. like where you have to win a prize. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not, I, now I want to be. When I said this, I go. I thought you were talking about like. gonna be upset because he's a fucking. He's a he he, he hits the fucking <laughs> the hoops all day long. Kind of assassin. Yeah. No, I'm talking about like the water guns and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So, I walk in. I see his five year old son win a gun, like a water gun yeah. or a fucking brr, 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 one yeah. of those fucking guns, and he goes three steps and it shatters. Yeah. Sh- I mean. Into a million pieces. Yeah. I watched it happen. Yeah. So I'm I'm not watching the father lie. But this is something he won at a game. He wanted he wanted a game. No, okay. like it, it was like a participation one. Yeah. Okay. Or whatever. Okay. Yeah. He got it. Fucking brr, dropped. Right. A million pieces. Yeah. So the father comes over, who I know is a complete lunatic, <laughs> and he goes over, and goes. Hey man, like my dad, my uh, my dad, my son just got this. Can you just replace it? And the guy mocked him, and he goes, "Oh, your son just got that!" Like, grunt, fucking arms out, and he goes, "Hey buddy, you can either give me twenty five dollars back, a toy, or I'm gonna stick this fucking broken <laughs> toy down your fucking throat." And the guy goes, "Wait, what?" And he goes. Those are your options. Yeah. And he goes, he got it three seconds ago. He goes, yeah. And I I just happened to be walking by and I go, two seconds ago. You know? I love this. I go, it's a three cent toy. Yeah. And you're selling them for a fucking $25 exactly. yes. for a shot. So whatever. Yep. The ki- I forget what it was, but I go, just give, him, give the kid a fucking toy. It, yeah. It's broken. You just saw him. Yeah. Right? That's the number one fucking fraud. So did did he have like a booth or? It was a booth. It was it was like a um, all right. So like the Revere Carnival. You yeah. Know, you know, like you, you you throw the ball. Into okay. A oh, so they have like carnival games there. Yes. Okay. Yes. I didn't know. Not right. many, but like it was like that. I forget okay, what so. it was. It wasn't like the squirt gun thing. It wasn't the squirt gun thing, yeah. but it was like something along those lines. Sure. And uh, <laughs> and the father goes, buddy, you say that again. Like those, you get three options. So yeah. I suggest you give me another yeah. gun. He goes, all right, well, this is the last one. He goes, if this one breaks in three seconds, no, don't. Yeah. Those are your options again. Yeah. You know? Carnival toys, right? Yeah. They're made with fucking the most literal fucking pieces of dog shit. Dude. To get put together. The only way I can describe the plastic that's in a carnival toy is that it's like brittle. It's not, it's almost like, it's almost like, you know, you know, the you ever have, you ever have a sugar bottle? You know what that is? Yes. A sugar bottle is like, for people at home is, my buddy was fucking used to love to get baked and he'd buy sugar beet bottles for five, like $100 yeah. on eBay, which is like what they use in wrestling matches. You can break it over somebody's head yeah. and it looks like a real glass bottle, right. but it's just made of sugar. It, it, That's what it feels like. You could break it in your hand. Like, it's like... A, a four-year-old could break it in the hand. Yeah. So, yeah. like, he dropped it and it shattered and the dad was like, wait a minute, let's get you a new one. And the guy, like, mocked him. The wrong person to mock. <laughs> I love it. Hockey dad that goes to extra effort hockey. Nice. You know what I mean? Like, nice. Not the not the guy to yeah, do it to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the guy was like, "All right, well, this is the last one." He's like, "No, if it, if it happens again, I'll yeah. be back." Yeah, you know I'll get I mean? another one. 
Carnival, and then you'll fucking do Car- it. Carnival toys fucking fraud. Okay. People who run oh. carnival things. They all look like they're from Hills They're all have, pedophiles. And Hills weird. have eyes. Dude, they are. If you listen to this and you happen to be a carnival worker, I got news for you. You are a trash person. You're not, you're not a fan of Paul McCork? You are. You can stop listening uh, <laughs> because, like, you have. You, you, like, those, those, those people have no morals. Like, they are, like, they will steal your money. They are, like, they're just, like, gypsies. Like, they're, like, in, uh, I don't want to get the gypsy community to fucking <laughs> rage at me, but, like, you know what I'm saying. They're, like, traveling, like, travelers. They're fucking islands. They're the travelers. They're travelers. That's what yeah. they are. They're travelers. They're, they're fucking pieces of shit. Have you ever seen the fucking movie Snatch? They're them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. They live um, in fucking, in, in little fucking uh, campers, and they, and they ask you if they like dogs. Hey, dude, my buddy who lives over there <laughs> has a bunch of them that, like, they have rules in the pubs there, like, so for people who don't know, travelers in Ireland um, are like a very, if you've seen the movie Snatch, that's what Brad Pitt's character is based on. Right. So they like stay all together. They're, they're all, they're like, most of them are thieves. That's how they make their money. Right. They like have scams they run and stuff. They're intensely Catholic. The girls are all hot, my buddy said. They don't fuck until they're... Married, like it's a hard fucking rule. Like, really, you are fucking, and they're like slutty looking. He's like, they're all hot and slutty looking, and they don't fuck till they get married. Like, it's a hard fucking fast Jesus rule. Well, that's not they're fun. crazy, and he's like, dude, they that have the rules terrible, in the way. pub that like they can't, they won't like travels aren't allowed in the pubs in the main town where he lives. Well, if you YouTube like, and I and I just because I know this, sure. If you YouTube like gypsy families in Ireland, like. They live for like YouTube views on like a Nokia phone. Yeah, and they're just like to the McGonagher yeah. family, and they're just in the fucking. There's a bunch of bushes behind them. And they're like, we're calling you out, yeah. and they just they're bare knuckle bra- oh, brawlers. Yeah. yeah, dude, it's kind of wild. Because then, it, like, now they got me railed in, and I'm like, yeah. what just happened? And now they're fighting in front of a bunch of fucking goats. Yeah, and they're just come on. This is for your <laughs> uncle that fucking said my mother fucking fucked his mother and fuck. It's insane. Do you watch and, Bare Knuckle, the movie? Uh, no, I did not. Oh, it's so good. That's what it's about. Oh, is it about that? I, I can't gypsies? remember if it takes place in, it's been so long since I watched it, but it either takes place in England and there are Irish gypsies or it's kind of the other way around. But um, Yeah, that's a, it's a kind of a clusterfuck over it's, there. Oh, dude, it, it, they are like, but they're not I like. Mean, Ty- Tyson Fury is a gypsy. Full blown gypsy. Oh yeah, yeah. Full blown. Yeah, yeah. he's called the gypsy king. Yeah. Well, that <laughs> dude, they call. There was a guy that was in the. So they had one. One guy was allowed in the pub, and it was the guy who was the, called the king of the gypsies. There's a guy they call that, like who's like in that area for those gypsies. He's like the fucking dawn, basically the, those gypsies. And like when he died, my buddy's like, you know, do they walk them them through, through the streets? They walk the body through the streets. That's how the gypsies do it, and they just sing and they fucking. Here comes my daughter in two seconds to ask me if she can, like, get an Apple fucking <laughs> some app on her phone right now. Um, well, maybe she saw that we were doing this. Anyways, uh, they, like, and they, like, go, like, absolutely, like, walk the guy through the streets. They're singing and, like, moaning. And, like, he's like, dude, it's not you. It's fucking wild yeah, fucking so shit. Tyson Fury is from England, but his entire family's from Ireland. I think that's how it's. I think so. Yeah, it, it's uh, he, yeah. It's, he claims both. If you if this with well, this conversation we're talking about is interesting to you, look up Bare Knuckle the movie. It's about it's it starts out. It's crazy because that movie is actually let, about. You, but you can literally if you don't before you even start with the movie. If you want to see what the fuck, yeah, I'm just go to YouTube. About, there's like two two main families. Yeah. I want to say it's McDonough and Collins. Maybe. I think I think you're right. But they they I mean these families you think. Bloods and Crips are bad. It's not even close. Dude. And they're like, to the third, fourth, and fifth McDonough. And they're like, what yeah. the fuck? They're like, they're calling these people all by name. You know what I mean? Dude, like, they are fucking... You said this on February 15th, fucking three years ago. Come and fight me now. <laughs> Dude, they are like... And there's a lot of stories I've heard about them. Like, one of them, like... Because my buddy's brother-in-law lives in uh, Northern Ireland. I've told the story about him. But, like, yeah, funny. all his friends are... Uh, Nuri. All his friends... Mostly were like IRA guys. Like that's he grew up in like basically the, he grew up in like the projects your the, your projects there right. I the same would thing. I would say mine were safer. Probably yeah definitely. Um, but like they had an IRA bar where three gypsies came in after hours, 
fucking robbed the place, set it on fire, tied the guys up in the back courtyard, and left, and it was an IRA bar. And I'm like, so what happened? They must have got theirs. And my buddy's like, dude, you don't fuck with these people. They have no rules. Like, they're not... They just don't care. They just did not... Like, they were trying to kill them by fire. Like, they're just not to be fucked with. Okay. Anyways. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, carnival toys, though. Those are... Tra- by the way, a, 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 a gypsy... Uh, a traveler will absolutely sell you a carnival toy and then, like, also steal all your money like, yeah, at the same time. In two seconds. You know what they do, too? They go over and they'll just do, start doing work on your house. That's, like, a scam no they do. Reason. They're like, if you're not home, they'll start working on your house. And then they'll be like, oh, you owe us, like, 500 fucking euro. And, like, so you have to be, like, wicked careful about, like, it's, dude, they're fucking dicey. That's Anyways. Um, come in. Come on in. What's up? Really? Yeah. Well, don't get eaten by Fight one. Fight <laughs> Raccoons in the yard. All right, you got to go back in. All right, run. Run for it. We got a raccoon scare in the backyard. By the way, this is the type of content you get. On the porch right now? Yeah. Oh, my God. All right, hold on a second. No, don't even, don't, don't you dare. <laughs> hold this on is, a second. This is play-by-play. This is play-by-play. Yeah, you can narrate. Brendan is going out to save his daughter right now. Are they on, really on the porch? Raccoons are on the porch. Here's here's the craziest part, right? Holy shit! They really on the porch? I got no problem throwing it. I will kill a raccoon right now. I will kill a raccoon right now. If you want to come over here and take over, I will kill a raccoon by its hand. This is what Trump wanted. This is why this is why they wanted to have us to have guns. <laughs> Dude, you just leave my lag board cornhole back, the son of a bitch. Can you find my gun? Yeah, I got it. Leave it on. Yeah. yeah. There you go. You're good. All right. We're good. All the children are saved. <laughs> By the way, talk about some fucking some yuppie ass problems. You know what I mean? <laughs> fucking the raccoons are evading. Those motherfuckers don't that's give a fuck. That's though. hood shit. That is hood shit. Um all right, where were we uh, before the raccoons evaded? I think we were just talking about the end of the gypsies. Oh, okay, all right, cool. You. All right, so I'm up, right? Did you do carnival people? I did carnival people. All right. Okay, I carnival toys, but whatever. Okay. I'm coming for some necks. Uh-oh. The hat is backwards. <laughs> Here's the thing. The hat's backwards. Here's I don't the know thing. if you know this. He's in Griffey mode. I, I, I can't... The only thing Shout I can... Shout out to my jersey. There's a lot of people out there in the world... That, like, they don't want to offend people because, like, those relationships could be beneficial to them at some point, right? So they just don't tell the truth. I'm going to be, I'm going to completely ruin any chance of anything ever being done between pulling the cork and this company. <laughs> Before it starts. Um, let me start by saying this. I'm a fucking big Barstool guy. Big day one Barstool guy. Used to get the paper. The fucking paper. I have more respect for Dave Portnoy than I have for a lot of fucking people in the media. I think he's fucking great. <coughs> Cracks me up. I'm a big one slice. Love him. One bite. You know, everybody knows the rules. That said, they just opened a Barstool Boston account on Instagram. Yeah. And on Twitter. So anyways, I got on Twitter and I'm like, I sent it to you. I'm like, hey, this could probably be a fucking good fit for us, right? We're the real deal. Right. So I sent them a message like, hey, how do I DM you? Because they don't have the DMs open on Twitter. He's like, go on Instagram. Okay. I went through their content, the people that they're using. They basically let people submit and they use their content. That company has lost its mind. Like, it's, first of all, all right, I'll just, this kid's got a monster fucking following. This kid, Tommy Garino. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay, he's got a monster following. The guy that does the... The Boston accents that's like not. this other girl, her name's like Everyday Maggie or something. If you look on the Barstool Boston account, you can see this, these fucking hacks. Um, like it's just, not why, funny, it's why, not. Why can't you just be yourself? Why can't you just be yourself? So, their whole shtick is, Oh, this is my uncle Richie from Dorchester, and then the uncle's like, I stole your cigarettes. <laughs> like, it's the fucking, I'm like, Who thinks this is funny? First of all, second of all, it's like almost selling out what you are. Like, and, make, and cheapening it. It's like, if you can't, you're basically fucking Carrot Top. 
Like you're a prop comic. You can't come up with a real thing. You got to be like, let me make up this fuck. Let me let me hack up my own fucking accent. And hack I'm, up my own city. Yeah, let me like fucking be like, oh, like my mo- uh, the one with the girls. Like she's like, give me a donkey's uh, extra X. I'm like, dude, I want to fucking reach in your car and end your life. You are a fucking hack. Now, I respect the hustle. I just want to say that. <laughs> yeah. That's separate. I respect the hustle. Sure. And they, they have a lot of followers. They have way more followers than we do. Whatever, right? Great. Congratulations. You've got a lot of followers by being a complete fucking retard. Um, I, I, also, think, I also wish your Boston accent was a little... Your Boston accent, accent was a little better than it was. Yeah, oh, I... Dude. Oh, it sucks. It's the worst fucking overcook of it I've ever it's heard. terrible. Um, How about fucking hire me next time? Dude, you know what it is? The reason the Boston accent thing is funny is because real Boston people are funny or have a funny, quirky way about them, and the accent just kind of adds to it, right? What's not funny is when some dickhead like John Krasinski gets on and he's like, I went to the ball game last night. It's like, dude, and that's what these guys are doing. So if like Barstool Boston, which started in Boston. It's doing the same thing. Is there like, whoever is in charge of their, their content on this thing, who must be a complete fucking fraud of a, of a person, probably some 20 year old dickhead. You're absolutely right. And he's like, Oh, this what is, a, what this a great is fraud. fucking, this is funny. Like here's a kid, uh, pretending his uncle just got out of jail and they're gonna, and he stole his bike and he sold I know it. Real jail people. That's what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> this is not, it's one thing to be like, Oh, you know how Boston people are and like laugh about it. Right. Be funny. I know 52 a career criminals. <laughs> dude, you got to have, there's so many people from Boston that have Boston, like, a perfect example would be like a Bill Burr, right? Bill Burr, you can tell he's from Boston. Yeah. He's got a little bit of an accent. Correct. He's hilarious. Nothing he says really has to do with Boston, right? It doesn't. No. Um, and you can still have, we definitely traffic in humor that is related to being from Boston. Yeah. But like to do a skit, dude, can you imagine if I was like, Danny, let's go, let's go down to, uh, let's go down to um, Southie and we're going to do a skit. You're going to pretend to be my nephew. And uh, here's, here's what we're doing today. Put two fucking bullets in the back of my head and push me into fucking Castle Island. Like, just end my fucking life. Let me get at least a hot dog first. Yeah, I go to, what is it called? Fucking... Sully's. Sully, they, they, oh, they'd be like, oh, you don't know what Sully's this kid? And that, get, by the way, this kid, like I said, I respect the hustle. Um, I think, like, show me something you can do that's funny that doesn't have to do with doing a hack accent and making up a hack storyline. I just don't understand what, like... I... I don't know. People like it, I guess. So people like it. No, if right. So I respect the hustle. Here, here's an example: the be a man guy, who's on there. I like the be a man. It's the same, guy. same idea. It's the same idea, but he's just like a grumpy kind of older Boston <laughs> guy who does like a one liner. Yeah. And it's it's shtick, right? But it, like it doesn't. He doesn't have to be from Boston for those one liners to work. Do you know what I mean? Not all it, of them. Not it, it might be. It might have to. Maybe, but he's not like. Go dude, to Revere dude, and like no, but when he <laughs> if you're hungry, starve. Be a man. <laughs> I fucking lost my mind the first. Time I think I it's heard. funny, dude. I think some of that shit's funny. Starve. I, be a man. Definitely has jumped the jumped the fucking shark a little bit, but like, but what I'm saying is like that. I'm okay with, right? I'm like that's fine. No. And I, I and I like the hustle. Like I said, I respect the hustle more than anything else. So whatever I say about the content, whatever I think about this kid's fucking <laughs> comedy, which is Not dog shit. Yeah. Um, uh, it doesn't matter. The kid's the kid, doing great. The kid's making a bag. He's making, making money. He's got a, looks like he's got a hot girlfriend. Great. Good for you. You're doing awesome. I congratulate you on that. Yeah. What I do know, and he you know deep he down, learn back what's happening what you know you. deep down is that your comedy is not that great. It's That's not. a fact. Like, you're not. You're making fun of our own people. You are. <laughs> you're trading our own people. Fucking Benedict Arnold. You are appropriating our fucking culture yeah. for your pockets. This is what we're here for. Motherfucker. So, all right. Here's the deal. If Boston, you, want, you <laughs> wanted to sell the Patriots to Connecticut. <laughs> if Boston ever wants this podcast, here's my, here's my fucking contract. Fire that kid who does the content on the page. <laughs> Fire that kid Tommy if he works for the fucking thing. And this girl Maggie, I don't know, send her to like Alaska. Get her as far <laughs> away from me without a phone in her hand as could possibly fucking get there. <laughs> Anyways, no prisons tonight. I said I'm coming for necks. It is what it is. Necks are fucking had. I'm coming for the whole state right now. You ready? Let's do it. MBTA. The, the, oh, oh, Jesus. Yeah. I mean, 
Now, everybody from the 617, 781, fucking 978, I don't know where the fuck it travels to. Shout out to our, Guess, bo- shout out to our boys. Billy O'Leary. Clarky, Billy O'Leary and Fitzy, who we'll all work for them. Listen to me. You guys are fucked. <laughs> the state fucked you guys over. That place has been fucked forever. And now the Orange Line, who is who runs the goddamn country as far as I'm concerned, because it runs through, and I will say, it starts in Melrose at Oak Grove, yep. right across from Pine Banks, comes through Malden and drives directly through the entire city of Boston. It's been fucking on fire forever. No one's even batted an eye. The Green Line still runs at two miles an hour. It's the forward. worst. It's terrible. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, Charlie's like, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to shut the shit down for a month. <laughs> Dude, me and you have cars. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We're good. Yeah. Not everyone's good. No. <laughs> we, I think we touched on this last week. Not everyone's good. Yeah. And especially the people who need the fucking tea. Dude, it is embarrassing how badly they just... You know what, dude? Hopefully, you know what hopefully happens, They got though? new cars, and they did nothing with the tracks? I don't know, but you know what? Hopefully, Tommy Reno does a bit on this and, like, really gets his money's worth out of it. I hope that happens. And He's he like, goes, did you get on the tea, kid? <laughs> he goes, yeah, dude. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> did you get on the fucking, on the, on the third reel? <laughs> I did reels. Well, I did reels with fucking Tommy and fucking <laughs> Shouty on Broadway. God. God. Get fucked. All uh, right. That's bad. By the way, that material that you just gave was so much better than his. So yeah, that's what well, happens. You want to know why? Because I'm a fucking Boston guy. <laughs> uh, I on the back to the tea. The fucking tea sucks. First of all, it's it always, always has. It's always been. Bad. It's always sucks. It's always been bad. The green line is like. Did you see there was what their like solution was though? Just show your Charlie card, and you get you'll get there quicker on the commuter rail. No, you won't. No, you have to get to the commuter rail. Right, and the commuter rail doesn't run as quick as... No, and it doesn't run as often. So, for those people that are listening that aren't from Boston, our train system is a fucking shit show right now. It's a disaster. People were jumping into the fucking Charles River uh, a couple weeks weeks ago. ago, Two weeks ago. Um, And they were just like, you know what? We're going to shut it down now for a month. Yeah. And it's going to be 24 hours of, like, working consistently for 30 days. And no one really has an answer of, like, if it's going to be really done or not. No, and the other thing is they didn't give people the proper notice no. to deal with it. Because the people no. who, like I said this, and I'm not, like, some fucking classist warrior, but, like, the people who really get fucked here are the people who have to go, to like, work at Mass General, like, in the cleaning fucking, and they clean the fucking rooms. Like, right. the people who fucking work two jobs. Like, those right. people need the tea, right. right? You know who doesn't need the tea? Like, the guy who works in the fucking Hancock Tower and makes $450,000 a year. Right. He doesn't need it. He doesn't right. take it. He's disgusted by it, probably. <laughs> right. Which he should be. You right. make that much money, you shouldn't take the tea. Right. I agree right. with you. Right. People who take the tea don't want to take the tea. Let's right. put it that way. Right. Um, so I feel horrible for those people, first of all. And, yeah, I mean, dude, the tea's been fucked forever. It's fucked. So, but, like, Orange Line was always nice to me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I took it my whole... Dude, I took it... My whole life. Yeah. Me and you took it our whole life. Yes. I, uh, the Orange Line, I never... I, I touched it a little bit. Blue Line, a little bit. Green Line, I think we can all agree. We, we can light it on fire and no one would bat an eye. Rather walk. <laughs> I would rather walk. I literally walked from Pearl Jam at Fenway because I couldn't get a cab. This is pre-Uber. Yeah. And, or maybe it was Uber and they weren't any available. And somebody's like, well, the tea's still running. I'm like, yeah. Great. And I walked all the way to the park yeah. and then got on the fucking no, road. I, I no, would, I, would, I would drive it all the way to Ruggles and just fucking walk the Fenway. <laughs> if they, that's where the fe- was that where the con- concert was? It was the Fenway. Yeah. 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 Fuck that. I'm, yeah. I, I, will, I will fucking walk backwards. Yeah. Before so, I get so, on so the for people who don't know, because the the orange the green line, line or, is a fucking the red line's the best one the orange line's similar they're just like regular subways right they go underground they go above ground the green line are these trolleys it's like a it's like you're at a ride at a shitty amusement park it's terrible they go wicked slow they're always stopping, stopping. for other ones the c- tracks cross each other oh, it's, it's like terrible. it's like when you're on like one of those haunted mine rides at like Canopy Lake Park that, you're like what's that's going exact, on that's exactly like, what am I gonna get there or not <laughs> yeah, like yeah. there's a lot of questions yeah. going on like yeah. every green line experience 
it's, it's got nine different destinations. So you got to know if you want this A, B, C, D, E I, trains. I got on the wrong one once. Dude. Terrible, ha- terrible time. You have to know this. You have to have, you have to know that there's not, that there's, there's six different or seven different train lines. They all come in the, where you want to get on, they all yeah, come. So you've you got to fucking know. Yeah, you can't be drunk and just assume. No, no. You can, by the way. Get drunk on the orange line and then wake up at uh, Ruggles. Somewhere. Which, uh, what's the last? No, Forest. Forest Hills. Forest Hills. Uh, my buddy woke up there one night. Yeah, Forest uh, Hills and the, in Oak Grove's the other one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, very different ends of the track, though, For back, especially back then. A billion percent. Same thing with the, the, green li- uh, the green line. I ended up I ended up walking out, seeing Heat Street, and a guy said to me, he goes, I think you're on the wrong fucking track. And I said, I think you're right. And I went right back in, and the rest was history. I was in a... I was, just to be very clear, there was a lot of black people, and I was <laughs> not invited there. It was, he Street is, uh, for you Boston people, you understand it, for you that don't know it, He Street is a very fucking hood-ass area, which normally I would be fine with, but at the time I was a 18-year-old college kid, and I was like, where the fuck am I right now? I don't know these people. And, and since then, I pottied there. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, yeah, I'm yeah. fine, but yeah. like... I, I got on the wrong train, and it is what it is. Bro. Well, that's kind of a place where if you're a white guy and you're going to party there, you'll be fine if you're with people who are partying <laughs> yes, there because yeah, yeah, yeah. they're there. Yeah, but you're I, there got, with I, got them. A, I got on the wrong... T- to be to be very clear, I got on the wrong train at... It wasn't in Malden. It was in fucking... I was in Fenway. Yeah. And I just got on the wrong... The ro- It was the right train, but it was the wrong way. Okay. And it was the last... They go last stop, and I got off, and I go, ah, uh, this ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do me a favor? Can you pass me those seltzers? Absolutely. Um, okay. I'm up. <clears throat> now, I'm going to say that I... This one's close to my heart. I actually... Okay. McDonald's. Burger King. Fast foods. Places, right? Yeah. You don't like when they tra- no, I'm not saying that. I, I'm I'm a trash person. I will eat McDonald's. I'll eat Burger King. <laughs> I'm a I'm, trash person. I like it. Um, when they offer, they're like one of a kind items come out. Okay. Right. Those are all frauds. You can talk to me about the McRib till you fucking blue in the face because I've had people do this with me before. McRib's good. McRib's good. McRib is a fake rib. Thing. It's disgusting. It's a pressed fucking... McRib is making the fraud list? Mc, I'm going in on everything that's not on the regular standard menu. No, no, no. Salad shakers. Remember those at McDonald's? Oh, my God! The salad cup shaker things. Remember those? The jerk-off shakers? No, they did have the McDLT. The McDLT was sick back in the day. The McDLT was like half... Uh, the big and taste... Like, when it's a repackaged regular burger, it's fine, no, right? but I'm kind of with you with, like... Just keep the McRib just on the fucking... Keep, fuck, keep it on the menu. I Well, I... I don't like the McRib. I think the McRib is dog shit. You like it? I'll eat it. I mean, I, yeah. I guess what I'm saying is like I don't wait for the Mc, I don't wait for the Shamrock Shake. Dude, I don't wait for it. I, this is what I was, this is the this, you just hit the crescendo of where I'm going. I don't I don't wait for it. Every year on Facebook, without fail, Shamrock Shake. Somebody's like <laughs> Shamrock Shake season. Fucking can't wait to go get a Shamrock Shake. You have, are you ten years old? Yeah. You have you have it's rich, ice cream. You it's have ice, ice cream yeah. aisle. You have, yeah, you have Richie's slush between your ears. Yeah. If you're fucking psyched when the Shamrock Shake comes out. Like, that's where your life's at. Like, you're like, I can't wait till the fucking Shamrock Shake By drops. Way, we talked about this, and your mother's spending X amount of dollars in the fast food aisle. Yeah. What's a Shamrock Shake these days? It's gotta be all eight bucks or something like Easily. that, right? Has right. to be. Fuck that. Has to be, dude. See my family? I'm all set. Yeah. I'm not spending a fucking hour of work to do that. No. 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 Fuck right here. Dude, I don't, like, I can't. Explain how much money. You know what's funny is I get off easy because when we go to stop at McDonald's, my daughters can only eat the fries. I've said this because they have yep, celiac, yep. so like they don't even get a meal. They get like a thing of fries. It's still sixty bucks, dude. <laughs> like no questions asked. Like we get fucking murdered there. You yeah. know what I mean? It, it, that's wild. My son totally takes advantage of fucking Burger King. He's like a he likes Burger King, which I like Burger King, but he likes he eats the chicken nuggets. Burger and King the, fries suck. Horrible. But he's a winner. Like, he's like he doesn't think they're good, but he burger, likes the chicken. The, bur- the burgers are fire. I even, think the burgers. I think the Whopper is the best. Even, fast even though burger. they have the seeds on the on the body. Yeah. I still think the Whopper with cheese is the best fast food burger in the world. Now you can't include a Five Guys or something like that because 
That's different level shit. No, I, that doesn't really count. No, I, I'm, a fast I'm, food place is a place you could drive through the window and they have a bunch I of different heard, options. I actually heard that they were trying to put it in and out over here. In, in I've never had it in my life. Have you? I have, but like, I had it, but people were like you didn't have it with animal style. Of course they didn't because it has mayo in it. Yeah. So I, no, I didn't. Did I? Yeah. But did I have in and out? Yeah, I did. Did it blow my dick off? No. No, it's a fucking burger. So that goes to show you how much better food we have over here than the West Coast. Uh, oh, I, I agree. Uh, in there and is... out people are fucking, they would take two in and out dicks and just fucking <laughs> get blown with they fucking They do, dude. Cum. They are, they are cum- in and out. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And they would just get blown with their fucking animal sauce in their mouth. <laughs> they get fucking gobbled so fucking. Dumb. <laughs> so dumb. So dumb. In and out. In and out. And I'm like, enough, dude. Yeah, enough. And out of your fucking it. ass. We get it. We get it. Enough. <laughs> Fuck them. Oh, uh, I think it's, dude. I, I, yeah. I mean, listen, I still think. If I'm driving someplace now, we've talked about this, style. We've talked about this before, but we can, we can go. We've never really gone in on all the fast food places, the rankings and everything. Um, like, I'll tell you the places. It would, it would be hard for me, to be honest. Let me just tell you the places that I really, I, like, if I'm, like, say you're driving to, like, we're driving to fucking Hilton then, right? Yeah. And, like, here are my options, and here is my, the order I would pick them in, right? Like, I'll close my ass, so just so you know it's real. Okay, I go. Okay. Chick-fil-A. That's number one for me. Uh, no, that's number one right, for me. Right now. Yeah, Chick-fil-A, <laughs> yeah. Um, if it's me by myself, it's Taco Bell. Now, my Taco family Bell, does Taco not like Taco, Taco Bell. Bell's I too. fucking love Taco Bell. Yep. I, will, I will fucking, I will, I will parade in the streets with Taco Bell. I fucking love the place. I love Taco Bell. It's the best. I love Taco um, Bell. You get so many different options. I told you about Taco Bell. Yeah, the fucking sauces. You, dude, dude, you nailed you, it. They literally just, they're just like, yeah, take whatever you want. Dude, it's... They know it doesn't come out of their pocket. Taco Bell, dude, is like, I love Taco Bell. Um, and then I would just go down to like, it would probably go Burger King McDonald's for me. Like, that's where we go. Yeah. Um, Chick-fil-A is fucking throws, I don't know, it's almost borderline not fast food. That's how good it's it is. It's so good. It's so it's fucking so good. good. So and good. you know what, dude? If you, I'm sure you've gone to the one in Woburn, right? Uh, oh, it, it, like the four corners? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, you get in that line. If you just saw a line <laughs> from the street, you'd be like, I'm not waiting in that line. It is. You get in your car, you're like 45 cars deep. Four kinda, minutes later, you're kinda, out of there. Kind of moves. It moves wicked fast, kinda dude. Moves, they know yeah. what they're doing there. Yeah. They, they don't fuck around. Um, anyways, yeah. Big Taco Bell guy, by the way. And I, I like to hear that you are, I, too. I love Taco Bell. I, I mean, I know that people will say it's trash. Yeah. Tacos? But, but like, you, know, you know what you're getting. Yeah, it's fine. It's not like, you I'm not looking getting. for like fucking street tacos. I'm like, can I get some fucking little potatoes? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I'm just, I'm fine. And the, and the girl's like, yes, papi. Yeah. <laughs> Talks to me nice. Yeah. I'm totally in. By the way, you know who I left off that list? Wendy's, because they fucking blow now. They are fucking horrible. Uh, Not nah, a Wendy's they, guy. They don't blow. They don't blow. I'll eat it. No. Uh, first off, you take those Wendy's fries and you put them in a Frosty, you're out of your mind. That's the best thing I've ever uh, See, I've never been down with that. I'm not like a big sweets guy, so like... I can, well, I need you to grow I've, up a little I've bit. I've done it. I, yeah, I mean, I'm not 11, so uh, <laughs> that's part of it. But <laughs> Stop being 10. <laughs> All right, you're up. Participation trophies, Brendan. This is a... This almost doesn't even have to be said. It's such a fraud. Dude, it, I can't tell you how much... Can't listen, believe it hasn't been coming yet. I know. Participation uh, Participation trophies. Yep. Um, it's a big thing for me. I've been coaching forever. Yes. As, as of you. Yep. And um, I see a lot more kids, and I mean this with all due respect... Aren't as athletic as I guess I expect them to be. Sure, that makes with all due respect. I, I don't yeah. know. I don't know if that means like I want them to all to be fucking, you know, Kevin Falk fucking day one. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, I got you. But um, parents that are like, he means well, and I'm like, all right, cool, that's great. But here's what we're gonna do. Yep. Type of shit, you know. And then at the end of the year, when we don't have we don't go to Florida and we don't go to the World Series and we don't do the fucking Disney trips and all that shit. All right, so do we get something? Not a fucking chance. Not a fucking chance. Love it. What do you What do you want? What do you do You get it in work? Yeah. Have you Have you ever got it in work? No. If you don't meet a quota, do you ever get anything? Nothing. Zero. Zero. If you do X amount, you get a bonus, right? Yep. Of course you do. Yeah. 
Why does it make any difference for kids? No, it's a bad message to send. 100%. It's, it's definitely a bad message. It's not like, I'm not saying that to be a dick. I'm saying it is. No, that... That's it, not how life's going to work. It, 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 it's, it's that simple. Yeah. It's that simple. Yeah. And, and I mean, listen, first year in, in T-ball, you want to give them a little certificate, appreciation, little fucking, little picture. Awesome. I'm yeah. all about it. Don't give them a trophy. No. Don't give them a trophy. No. Do my buddy, Rich... Don't, it, dude, I see it all the time in flag. Flag now, like, kids get rings. Rings? Rings, which, cool. Yeah. First place, you get a ring. Second place gets a trophy. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second place, yeah. you didn't get shit. Yeah. My, my kid got a trophy. Throw it away. Dude, the, my buddy who was in here the other night, he's actually like a cornhole legend in Masters is Rich Queen, a.k.a. the legend. That's his nickname. Guy's a great athlete, great golfer. He was a great, he was a great softball player. And he was on like a team that was on ESPN. Like he went, he traveled, like like did that whole thing. He was on ESPN. They came in second in the in the country. And uh, he said like the guy who was the captain of the team. They got on the bus and they had like this big, huge second place trophy. It was like as big as you, right? The guy fucking they pull out on the highway. The guy opens the fucking door and just fucking throws love it right it. out. Love it. He's like, no fucking take second place fucking love it. trophies. Love it. I love that fucking love story. It. And, and it's not. Listen, the gesture's nice, but enough with it. Yeah. Enough with it. Yeah. We get it. We got everyone knows who got second place. Yep. First place loser. Yeah. First place yeah, loser. Yeah, first place loser. Absolutely. <laughs> that's, that's all um, it comes down to. By the way, shout out real quick. These drinks are cold because of these fucking awesome tumblers that Incredible. and guys for that time and Sealy. Um I wanted to tell you a quick story that happened to me last week where I sent a big text to my guys that are all my uh fancy football neighborhood league. Yeah. And Which, I was like, oh, no. what? I'm, no, I, I wanted I wanted to be known that I'm doing zero. <laughs> zero fantasy? Zero I do fantasy this year. I only do this one league. Zero. And I'm I'm a marginal fantasy guy. Like, I like I just like being, I like, oh. hang, I, you know what I like doing? Go to the draft, getting fucked up, and being involved in that shit. I'm, I'm not sitting there listening to podcasts about who to pick in the fourth. I'm like, I'll show up with a sheet and fucking tell you. Right. Um, anyways, I sent out a text. like, hey, having this big party pulling the cork. One of the guys, fatal mistake, writes back, yeah, I'll d- well, I'm definitely coming as long as it's not the same way as this other person's party that they go to. I go, you're going to love looking at this bar from the street all fall, like wistfully and not being allowed in it. And then my other buddy, Paul Gentile, big pulling the court guy. His response was, I won best costume at that party last year, and I'm fucking going to the pulling the court party. And fucking, that's how I fucking roll. Let's and I'm go. Like, Let's fucking go, Let's baby. Go. Let's go. We're going to have a great crew of people there. I'm I'm fucking amped up for this party right now. I'm getting fucking pumped. I mean, first off, you told me that Louis P's is doing it. Yeah. I Like, it's going to be like when you're a kid, the day after Christmas, I'm going to be so bummed, like, when it's over. I'm going to be like, fuck. Like, that thing. Yeah, I can't wait. And the the DJ, who is a very, very good friend of mine, every guy, when when I tell you, like, there's a a natural, uh, we hate each other. We, we fucking... We're animosity. Enemies. Natural animosity. The, the people that are my age from Everett, we love each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? We, I, I can't explain it. We just do. The DJ that is doing this is from Everett. He's the best. He's the best. He hung my fucking TVs when I didn't know how to fucking hang a TV. I love it. All right? So, he is... Uh, he's the fuck. He's just the greatest human on earth. He's a black kid with fucking hazel eyes. He will take your fucking wife with no problem. <laughs> he is married with kids, and he's a fucking good-looking human. <laughs> Shout out to CJ the DJ. <laughs> CJ the DJ. All right. By the way, he's the official DJ of pulling the court. That's 100% done. Yeah, dude, he's just, he just kills it. If you have an event coming up and you're looking for a DJ, you need CJ. Bing there. bong. If we Got show it. up at your event and you don't have a CJ, we're leaving. We're done. You're it's out. That simple. You are dead to us. It's you, that simple. You're fucking done. And if, you, um, and if you need his shit, just reach out to us. <laughs> uh, all right, you're up, right? Or did I you am. just go? Uh, hold on, let me see what No, I mean. we just talked about fast food for like 20 minutes. We veered off. All right, no big deal. No, we talked about participation trophy. That's right. Oh, that was yours. Yes. That was yours. All right, I'm up. Damn, um, my, ne- my next two will fire, though. <laughs> I, <laughs> my next two will fire. I got a couple more. Now, this one's going to be fucking... You're not going to like this one, I don't think. Although, I don't think you'll care anymore. Um, if it's about Notre Dame, dude, I'm done. It's not right. about Notre Dame. I like Notre Dame. I'm a, I'm a like, agnostic. Like, I, I like Notre Dame. I enjoy when they win. Um, okay. 
Less than three weeks away as of today, by the way. I know. I saw some people chirping you yeah, on, on yeah, our page I'm today. Not, Bobby Froyo can fuck off. <laughs> he's trying to throw fucking facts out there. my dog, dude, but he can fuck off. He's, he's a Michigan State fan. <laughs> no, one, no one knows about Michigan State. He's a fucking loser. <laughs> All right. Hear me out here. Fuck baseball. I don't think I, I have no expression. As I'm wearing a Ken Griffey this Jr. Is fucking jersey. <laughs> uh, now, have I not enjoyed baseball at times in my life? I have, right? Okay? Did I not like the Bash Brothers? Of course I did. Did I not want to fucking, like, basically, like... Chat to readjust my back with like, that real quick. Yeah. Did I want to crack stick every time Bo Jackson snapped a fucking bat over his leg? By the way, how hard is that? Like, we've talked about that thing before. That is a feat, dude. I can do it right now. Cracking a baseball bat over your fucking leg. Can you imagine that, though? I'm kidding. I can't do dude, it. Dude, not getting hurt? No, like, just walking away from it. Think about the amount of pressure you have to fucking apply to a tempered bat. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's, uh, <laughs> that's a fucking... That is a man right there. Yeah. That is, it's a man, that's a fucking Paul Bunyan type. Like They write books about people like that, but it happened. And people yeah. just accepted it? I'm like, how many people do you think you can bake, bake I a bat? I hope somewhere like? along the line of Ancestry.com I'm related to Bo Jackson. Uh, I mean, that would be unbelievable because some kid... Can you imagine that, though? But his like, kid, hey, dude, hey, Bo! We're 163rd cousins. <laughs> <laughs> dude, imagine like Bo Jackson's kid and you just suck at sports, which I think is kind of the case. One of his kids, the kids, uh, his, he says his kids aren't like great athletes. Anyways, regardless, baseball, let's get back to it. Yeah. Okay. I know. There's a lot of people that listen to this, probably the stat geeks. They love it. They love talking about fucking, you know, whatever, slugging percentages and everything else they brought into money ball shit, right? Listen, I, want, I don't want to sit there and watch fucking Mikey Melatonin pitch to fucking Stevie Sleepy on the fucking catching ball. Stevie balls. Yeah. Like, dude, it's a fucking snooze fest, that game it now. It is a snooze fest. I don't know how you can watch it other bring, than, like, bring if you want to go to bed. Bring back steroids. 100%, dude. Like, yeah. that was when it was awesome. Yeah. The steroid era was, like, when it was great. Uh, I grew up in it. It was the greatest. And was- then there's always some guy, like, now it's Chris Sale. Before it was David Price, right? There's some guy that... Both, that both you, of them Red Sox. This is why I'm saying it. There's some guy you overpay way too much money. He's always fucking hurt. Can't ride a bike like Chris Sale. And now, like... Literally. Now, like, the whole time is spent hating this person and whatever. And then they can't pitch. Like, if we had sale, the whole thing sucks. I hate fucking the place. I hate Fenway fucking park. Oh, I, I know love, it's I cool. I love Fenway. I, I love Fenway. It's cool. I get it. I've been there if a I, bunch. If I had two tickets to Fenway, you wouldn't go? I would. And then I'd be a fraud for saying this. But that, I am a fraud. <laughs> <laughs> I am also a fraud. I, I would love do. Fen- I love Fenway. I I. Fenway's I, cool. I, I hate paying twelve dollars for beers, but I, just, I I love the experience. I don't I like do. I don't like the idea of like staring at the fucking right field wall from my seat that I paid eighty bucks for. Fair enough. That's what I don't like. Fair enough. I yeah. also don't like the idea of like somebody charging me eighty dollars for like fucking round of beers. That I, is fucking brutal. No, no, I, um, you 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 haven't. I just don't like. You know, what I don't like. I don't like the fucking ownership of the Red Sox. I hate those guys. Oh, yeah. Fucking nerd Squid Central. Yeah. And all they want to do is milk. The reason they left fucking the park up is is so they could just milk the money out of people. They do. They are fucking. They've got you. They the hand your fucking pocket the minute yeah. you walk in there. I know. Um, it's so it's brutal. I just It's always been that way now, but it's just, it's just it's worse. Yeah, but now, now you're just more aware of it. Like yeah. back then, you were like. I, I didn't know who right. owned the Red Sox. Right. So I was like, well, whatever. Right. Like, uh, it, let's it, go there. It's, I don't know. I, I look at it now, like, when I was a kid, my father would bring me in, a, you know, get get a drink, get, get your little fucking... Yeah, your helmet. Your oh, helmet, dude. Your helmet fuck. Helmet Sunday is a fuck. That was like, fuck. That was probably $16 then. Yeah. <laughs> I can only imagine what it is in 2022. Mini bat. Get a yeah, mini bat. T- yeah, dude. Get a mini bat. You walk out of there, where are those things now? No, I know. I know. Yeah. I'm glad my son does not give a fuck about baseball. No, um, Brennan, fuck my son, Brennan. Yeah, um, he signed up for baseball, as you know. Yeah, he was bullshit. We had one more because football started. Yeah, and I was like, listen, I said, if there's a once football starts, we're done with baseball. So baseball kept going, kept going, kept going. We had a little day off, and I was like, hey, we got one more baseball game. He's like, what the fuck? He didn't say that. He's like. Do I get to go? I said, you're not quitting. Yeah, yeah. So you got to go play. Yeah. He ended up pitching. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. But I was like, that was your last game. 
But dude, that's the thing is like you like I think I'm not I'm not I'm not telling my kid to quit a fucking no Once no no. Start, I, I say, I'm totally the same way. I will say this like I think the one thing I've learned like just with my own kids is like if they don't want to go like at all, like my son started getting that way with like basketball. And it's like, and he's kind of that way with lacrosse. Like, he doesn't really want to go, but I've been making him keep playing because I'm like, you're probably going to want to play in high school. Like, bro, you don't want us to have something to do. Right. I, you don't have to ask him fucking anything about football. He wants to go to football now. He wants to go there. He wants Fuck to fucking yeah. be there Love on the field, wants to do that, right? Doesn't really want to go to lacrosse. By the way, I, I, got, a, I got a lineman guy for you off season. Awesome. Now on. Okay, perfect. Um, anyways, but like, it's funny because, you know. It's like that for everybody. Like, you, you figure out what you like, what you don't like. You know what I mean? It's like, get make a kid like something. If he doesn't like it, and he doesn't have a passion for it, right. it's going to be a fucking grind all the time just to get him to do whatever, right. you know, whatever he wants to do. Right. So, you let kids try things. They like it. Great. They don't. Whatever. If you're one of those parents who, like, makes your kid fucking work out in a sport that he doesn't want to fucking do at all because yeah. you have something. You see it all the time. Yeah, you have something deep down in you that's broken, yeah. and you need to fucking fix you it through your own time. kid. I, as a coach, I see it. Yeah. They're like, yeah, man. You know, I played semi-pro once. That's good for you, pal. Great. Yeah, Great. awesome. What do you do now? I'm an art yeah. teacher. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm an art teacher. I, I never fucking... The, the amount of... We've talked about this before. The amount of people that are going to go Division One or become pro athletes is so infinitesimally small that, yeah. like, you really shouldn't be getting worked up over shit because, they're not, like, no. it, someday it's, all they're going to have is the memories of what that was like. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. if it was bad, they're not going to feel good about no. it. Like, listen, every every... Saturday, I, it's no secret. College football is my favorite thing. Yes, ever. even even if it's not Notre Dame. Yep. But I, I'm just like, hey, you want to watch this game with me? Nine, no, eight times out of ten, he's like, I want to go fucking hang with sure. my friends. Good for you. And then he comes over and he's like, wait, who's playing right now? I'm cool with that. I'm cool. You're a fucking kid. Yeah. Do what you want to. Do what you want to do. Yeah. I'm, I am not gonna fucking beg you. No. At that age. No. If you want to come over and watch a game with me, I'm fine with it. Exactly. My dream's over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just want to watch the game. I just want to watch the game. You can be here or not. Right. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make you stay here and watch. No. A college football game on a no, Saturday. I agree. I am fine with me. That's my Saturday now. Yeah. Don't ask me to do anything else. Yep. I'm not going to the fucking mall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not bringing a roll world. Yeah. You know, that's out of the work. That that's done. By the way, your bir- is your birthday in like five days or something? It's Six on, days? It's on Saturday. Woo! What are you doing? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you got up something, I got, obviously. I got nothing. I got nothing. I, don't I think will so. fucking... I think, I think Saturday afternoon, like the day of my birthday, yeah. me and my sister-in-law are having like a bur- uh, barbecue during the day. Nice. I think that's Friday night. I think I'm going to be in the North End. Nice. Go out for dinner or something like that? Nope. There's a feast there. Oh, nice. See Anthony's? And, uh... Oh, is it? Yeah. I don't know. Is that what it is? It might be. Yeah. It might be. But uh, the kid I coach with, Avery, who yeah. I love, he listens. He's doing cannolis. Nice. He's, he's such a he's such a guinea. <laughs> it's real greaseball he, shit. He has a fucking, it's called Wise Guys Cannolis. And it's the, I hope he didn't do the sign. <laughs> it looks like it's a third grader that did it. <laughs> and it's like, it just says Wise Guys Cannolis, whatever. So if you see them, over and see them. I heard they're fucking fire. But I'll there's be over there on, on, on Friday. And there was nothing we could do about it. It was there's amongst the Italians. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> it's that simple. All right, you're up. I that, forgot, my, by the way, I forgot to write down my last one after you go. I fucking love. No, I have, I still have two more. That's fine. That's fine. I started. Yeah. So that's how it works. So you've got one. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to have one. Then you have the last one. All right. Yeah. Gender reveals. <laughs> yes. This is bullshit. What is happening? What is happening with the world? So... Dude, I'm totally fine. You want to have a party with like, <laughs> want to cut a cake and say fucking. Now it's turned into fucking WWF <laughs> entrances. I know. Fireworks. I love when these things go sideways though, and you see a video where like the father misses the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like a, and then it's a girl. Yeah, or, the, or like the blue paint like explodes on the the chick. Yeah, like I love that shit. I, like. Why Why are we going that far? What's... Fu- Dude, Christy asked Riley and Bailey. She's like, do you want to do a gender reveal? I go, I will fucking... I will be the most absentee father on earth. 
if we do a fuck, if you decide to do a gender reveal. We're not doing that. Yeah. Tell me what it is. We'll go from there. I think it's cute. Why? Because the world says so? No. Just fucking tell me what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that? First of all, I don't give a fuck. No, it's just, it's a scam. It's a scam. Is what it, It's a fraud. <laughs> it's a fucking fraud is what it is. They want people. Dude, I watched one the other day. It, I'm not kidding. It looked like a WWF entrance. Like Goldberg. <laughs> I'm saying Goldberg. Fireworks flying out of nowhere. And the father was bullshit because it was all pink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like hugging him. I'm like, you just spent thousands of dollars yeah. for the father to be disappointed. <laughs> just do it under closed under closed wall, you know what I mean? Closed doors. It's dude. It's funny because I thought for some reason, like when we had my first, my, my oldest is uh, my daughter. I have two daughters, one boy, middle's boy. I just for some reason I always thought I was gonna have all girls. I thought I was just one of those guys, like, uh, like you know, just just like I was destined to be like all girl, which I was fine with. I was like, I don't care, like whatever. You know what I mean? Like what you get is what you get. Like I got buddies. What football you get, coach. you get is don't be upset. I mean, I am psyched that I do have a boy in the mix. You know what I mean? Like, this kind of rules, you know? Just because you have somebody to do some of the shit you want to do that they don't want to do. It's the, you know my life. Yeah. It's all I have is me and my boy. Yeah, yeah. Surrounded by girls. I know, I know. Um, but yeah, but it's funny because it's like, I remember we'd be like, oh, like, I hate people with a fucking opinion. Everybody's got a fucking opinion. I remember we'd be like, people like, are you going to find out, like, what the gender is? And we're like, yeah. And then I remember Maggie had the best response, and they're like, it's really better to wait. It's because it's such a good surprise. And Maggie goes, well, it's also a surprise when they tell you, too. So <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's just, what's the fucking difference? You know what I mean? And, and you can plan out some shit. You yeah. know what I mean? Before yeah, so fucking- if, yeah, so if you don't mind, we can go to fucking, and I'll tell you, when we found out, so, like, it's no fucking surprise here. My oldest is my stepdaughter, right? But she made me a fucking father. Yep. When I found out Brendan was a boy, right, we went to to uh, Toys R Us, Babies R Us, and they give you the little fucking scan gun, scan yeah. gun, and you go nuts with it, yeah. right? And I'm going, and there's fucking three pages of it. My buddy went, it was a Bible. He he was getting tricycles and all that <laughs> other. It's like, it's a newborn. Calm down. Yeah. Right? yeah. You know? <laughs> but you you see all the shit, and you like you finally know what you're having. Yeah. We did that shit months ahead of time. Sure. That, now people know what the fuck they're getting. Like, yeah. I, I don't know. Gender reveals for me, all due respect. I'm all set. Fuck off. Luckily, I, it was not a thing when I was like, when we were having, like, when because I'm older than you. So it wasn't really a thing that, like, I am ever going to be a part of unless, like, my daughters decide to do it or my, you um, know what I mean? But I, I hope, I hope.